I'm literally like on day a lot of not washing my hair. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because I have gotten so many requests about how I style my hair, how I get the volume, how I do the curls. It's so easy and literally takes me like 15 minutes. So let's get started. Okay, the first few things that you're gonna need is of course a hair wand. I like thicker and bigger wands because that creates more of like a big full wave. The smaller the wand, the smaller your curl is going to be and of course I want some big loose waves. Also this is optional but I like to keep a straightener on hand for any flyaways also this creates a lot of volume and then really you just need a brush a teasing comb and optional I use hairspray this is the L'Oreal lock it bold control spray I love this stuff the best thing is it doesn't make your hair crunchy okay so as far as volume the biggest two tips I can give you is of course dry shampoo this is a dusted texture hair powder I'm gonna link everything down below if you want to check it out um, but basically it again soaks up that oil and creates like insane volume the first thing that I do is I section off my hair so I'm gonna pull the top half of my hair up into a bun grab any heat protectant that you have and what I do is I wrap towards the root just don't burn yourselves and then wrap it around and then hold the tip out a little bit that'll create um, a little bit of a beach boho wave which I'm here for That is the fourth time that I've burned my hand in the past week. But it's evidence that I burnt my hand like two days ago. Help. And after I curl each section, what I do is I take, that curl is ugly. What are you doing? <sighs> Some curls are like boys. They just don't want to act right. Okay, so for each section, what I do is I just give it a quick spray. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of scrunch it a little bit just so it keeps that hold. Again, we're going to spray and then we're going to scrunch up a little bit. So this is where we're going to use our straightener. So what I like to do to kind of create that like swoop, um, kind of flowy part of my bang is take a section of my bangs, brush it out. Of course, don't forget your heat protectant. Then you're going to want to take your straightener and then you're going to want to go up. That's going to create lift from the heat and it's going to have, it's going to create hold all day. So you can see how much uh, lift that gives you. Again, we're gonna do the same thing, work from the front to the back. What I like to do with my bangs is kind of pull them to the front. I don't want the heat right here. And I'm gonna put it kind of in the middle and make it flow back. We're gonna do a quick spray. If I see you guys walking out of the house with this hair, we're gonna fight. So what I'll do is I'll take my fingers, right? And I'll just kind of start breaking it up, starting at the top. So I'll even take my fingers and then just kind of break it. You can go at the tops too. And don't forget underneath. Another thing I do is I'll start going through and break up the curls with my fingers. So what I do is I take my dry shampoo and I just pick up the sections that I want a little more lift. And then you're going to want to judge again. Is judge a word? I'm going to look it up. The second thing I'm going to do is take that powder. So now that we're definitely getting that volume that we want, sometimes I'll even take the brush and I'll lightly kind of comb through those curls to break them up. A 
This is some sea salt texturizing spray. Um, I'll take some of that on my hand. It'll give it some curl and some hold. This is without teasing, which is one of the things that I love. Just to add some extra shine, I use the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco. Um, you can get this at Walmart. The best part about this spray is it doesn't make your hair greasy, right? That's what you want. You don't want a product that's going to weigh your hair down, make it feel greasy, and no. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you have not already, please subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.